Isaiah chapter 6, verse 8. Then I heard the voice of the Lord saying, Whom shall I send, and who will go for us? And I said, Here am I, send me. Saved and sent. Isaiah, a man of noble birth, held an elevated position in the court of King Uzziah, and helped guide him in his ruling of the land. When King Uzziah died, Isaiah received an amazing vision of God in all his glory while at the temple of Jerusalem. Isaiah was a gifted speaker, a wise counselor, an upstanding citizen, and a learned man. Yet he felt hopeless when faced with the holiness of the Almighty. All Isaiah's inadequacies, weaknesses, failures, and sins were apparent. But instead of becoming consumed by it, God's presence transformed him. First, an angel touched his lips with a flaming coal to symbolize the atonement of his sins. Then God commissioned him to share his message of warning to Israel. Thus Isaiah became a prophet, foretelling coming judgment and hope for the coming Messiah. Eternal Salvation Through Jesus Christ No one believe. For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only Son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish, but have eternal life. John 3.16 Number 2. Confess If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just, and will forgive us our sins and purify us from all unrighteousness. 1 John 1.9 Number 3. Repent Peter replied, Repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, for the forgiveness of your sins, and you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. Acts 2.38 Number 4. Baptism Jesus replied, Very truly I tell you, no one can see the kingdom of God unless they are born again. John 3.3 3.